this time. I must be mellowing with age, but I want to say this very clearly. The next time I'm not asked the first question, <laughs> fucking walk out. <laughs> think it is, Kay. Uh, I want to know what she thinks. Yeah. Who do you Robert. think? Robert. Oh, you think it's Robert? <laughs> Get that picture off the monitor. <laughs> there you go. Who's better at giving advice? RDJ. What was the advice he gave you? To be RDJ. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Dorito? Then better late than never. All right. Um, Dorito. <laughs> but I mean, just, you know, getting to go work with this group of people and, and, and essentially being a superhero for a job. I mean, did you, was this what you envision when you're like, oh, I want to be an actor? Like, is this anywhere near what you thought? Uh, no, uh, no, no. It's a, but a wonderful blessing. Uh, meeting this guy over here. He's the one that uh, convinced me and washed my car in a thong and said, like, you got to be Hawkeye, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Michael Bay style. That's he nice. He did do that. Yeah. He did do that. Yeah. He washed my car in a thong. It's amazing. I have photos. <laughs> I'll Instagram that shit. Kyle, enjoy this Team Iron wannabe man, but uh, the right team is the only See? team cap. No negativity for me. <laughs> Mark and I are adopting a child. Oh, you are? And yes. yes. And calling it uh, Bruce Stark. It's going to be great. Dern. Tony Banner. <laughs> Tony Banner sounds great. It does. A helicopter like flew down and Robert got out. Yeah. Came for his audition. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so I, I go into this room to do the audition and I see Robert Downey Jr. I go up to him, I shake his hand. Nice to meet you, and I'm starting to panic, bro. I'm like, oh my god, this is how to do it. I even wore glasses to try. Look at you. This is very RDJ, right? It's very good. You really are taking cues from the master now. Never FaceTime me ever once. <laughs> now it's become a bit of a thing. Why are you answering your phone in the middle of an interview? Because it's you. Yeah, if it right. was my mom. I've just gotten so used in the last five years to kind of co-writing word for word whatever I'd done. Um, but uh, but Joss would just go write three pages of options, and it was kind of like uh, he just did all the he just did all the work writing wise. So I, I forget yeah. whose who's stuff was whose. I'm glad it worked. You just friends. We're friends. Robert, do you feel like can I just, do you feel like the Godfather of these superhero movies? Whether he feels it or not, he is. <laughs> the balustrade. I was I so I was I so you. overcome I with, you. with your goodwill. The first day, the first scene I had with, with Robert, after five minutes he asked me if I had allergies. I didn't understand the question. Uh, and when I had lunch and was eating my burrito in my humble little trailer, somebody knocked at my door and said, uh, and was sitting in the golf cart, and said, like, you're probably invited to Robert Downey's village. <laughs> so, <"Ow." laughs> My burrito. <laughs> and, then, and then in the far distance, I saw that huge <laughs> space with yeah, four or five, four or five. trailers. You know, <laughs> that's everybody's goal every day is at lunch to see who's going to get invited <laughs> to the village. And you get so jealous. Like the day he was invited, I see him go I'm, by I'm, my trail. I'm, I'm like, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm, I'm the Graydon Carter of the MCU. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's it's kind of an obvious. It's real low-hanging fruit to say Downey. I mean, he's been so, so... He's such a wonderful guy and, and so talented and so experienced and so supportive. And um, he, he's just, he's always been in my corner. Uh, I've, I've always felt supported by him and, and, and he really brings everybody in 
to the group and, and make sure everyone feels welcome, and especially on this last one. You know, I mean, I, I always try to, no matter what it feels like for me, I try to imagine what it feels like for him because he really did start this and he really is so irreplaceable. Nobody can ever be Iron Man. That's not nobody, you know, it's not a role like a Superman or a Batman that can kind of find different incarnations. No one can touch it. No one can. And, and, I, and I wonder what that feels like to kind of come to the end of the road. And, and, and I think he must, he must be going through a whole cocktail of emotions because he really, on this last film, has gone so far out of his way to really bring... You guys know, when, 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 when Downey's on set during lunch breaks, he makes sure everyone goes. It's, it's called the Downey Lunch. Downey has his own separate... He has a separate, uh, you know, caterer. It's a really nice spread. It's quite lovely. Really um, nice. Really but, nice. It's really nice. You cooked a whole goat. It's really beautiful. Uh, Just a goat. But like, he'll bring I'll everyone cooking. over, and and you know, I, I can only imagine what it might feel like to be someone who's coming into the Avengers world for the first time, or playing one of the supporting roles in another franchise, and maybe feeling a little intimidated. Because I mean, I feel intimidated still sometimes. And, and, and he just really, uh, you, know, uh, you know, just opens his arms and, uh, God, it sounds so cheesy, but he makes it a family.